Hey Geminis, how y'all doing? Welcome. We're going to be doing your October general reading here. So let's talk about this meditation. <laughs> it was intergalactic <laughs> in nature. And so the first thing that I saw was a lion. Um, and I it felt like, well, it was an actual lion, right? But then I saw it wander into this, this scene from The Wizard of Oz. And I saw it walking down this path and I heard, you know, the ever famous lions and tigers and bears. Oh my, lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. And I, I heard that as it was walking down this very dark enchanted forest, you know, path or whatever have you. Very dramatic, of course. Um, <laughs> and it walks through and it it walks through the back of the forest and suddenly it's like behind the scenes and we see that it was actually like a film set. So we're seeing behind the curtain or behind the camera, as it were, and everything is being moved by like robots and animatronics and, and, and all of this good stuff. And the thing that I was most drawn to with that was that it was an absolutely pristine environment. Everything was pristine, everything was in its place. Um, I'm hearing that, you know, kind of saying of uh, when everything is in its place or when my surroundings um, are too, you know, uh, are optimal, right? That leaves me room for clarity. It, it inspires a certain clarity. When there's a, I'm hearing when there's a lack of clutter, there's clarity. This could definitely be mind clutter because you are... <laughs> fellow air sign. Um, but this could also mean a few different things. I, I feel like there's some sort of like um, busy work or or busy, busy kind of cluttered energy that once cleared allows for like whew, complete crisp, crystal clear clarity. Yeah. So then I saw you guys kind of move into this spaceship, right? Just go with me on this. A, a spaceship and you're kind of looking out into the universe. And I saw this sort of command or this like control board, right? And everything, I was just so drawn to how clean it was, how absolutely pristine it was. Everything was in its place. So it felt like in an external order, um, led to a calm mind. So that's really interesting that that's coming through. And then I saw this like beach scene, right? And I got this feeling of sort of like a, I saw like a frozen drink and kind of, that's my image for like, you know, being on the beach. It's that kind of like vacation from one's, you know, normal routine or analysis paralysis or way of going about things, right? It's clearing the to-do list. It's clearing the schedule. What I'm hearing is I feel like there's an opportunity for this month for you to take that, whatever that, whatever your vacation vibe is, right? It may be a winter landscape cabin with a good book in front of a roaring fire and a hot mug of tea, right? With wild animals running around in the forest for you to view outside of your window, right? Look, there's a deer, whatever that is for you, right? Can you take that, right? Because there's a certain in the moment-ness, right? That comes with being on vacation, as it were. Can you translate and take some of that feeling, some of that outlook and incorporate it into your current environment or schedule or mind space? It feels like there's a real opportunity for clarity um, that exists with a lot of that vacation energy. So what is that? Being in the present moment, existing outside of a normal, normal quote, schedule, right? A, a granting yourself a certain freedom, right? Within that vacation context. How can you incorporate something about that, either the energy or practice into your current reality? Because there's a clarity, there's a clarity that comes through within that energy or lack of, um, sort of daily routine or how things currently are. So let's get an animal energy for you guys. Get <laughs> yeah, the bee. Hello. <laughs> oh my God. And on the bottom, we have the beaver. These are the two. Okay. I'm just going to, because I feel okay. I, I literally, so the bee is three of pentacles in the tarot and the beaver is the eight of pentacles. These are the two animal energies that represent Work, honey. Work, work, work. So fascinating. But let's start with the B here. This because <laughs> we're talking about vacation, holiday. We're talking about a certain order, a certain lack of clutter that allows for clarity and ease of mind and perspective. And then you have the B, 
the worker bee come and appear. So three of pentacles is very much about, you know, the, the artisan, right? It's an artisan key about doing work that has long lasting effects that you're really proud of. This isn't a job. This is a career. Okay. Beaver is, is, is hard work meeting up with talent, right? And it's also that balance of playtime and work time. So interesting that we're talking about balance of work and play, balance of a certain attention to details and getting everything in order with being in the present moment and releasing yourself from any kind of extra busy work. Why do I feel like you guys are doing more than you need to? And why do I feel like you might feel like that the opposite is true? Interesting. So, <laughs> so again, with this B here, there's also an aspect of teamwork, calling in the ranks, right? That there's strength and then that kind of aspect of teamwork or your cohorts or, you know, the unit that you have available and around you to kind of help you out, right? What is that? Many hands make for a lighter load. There's something in that. There's something about asking for help or allowing yourself to be more fully aware of the help or the aid that is available to you, right? This is really nice, I like it. I'm also really drawn to the yellow and greens here. So the green is the heart chakra, right? So uh, being in the present moment there's, it aligns you to that heart chakra more than anything else in my experience. Present moment equals heart chakra alignment, okay? And because that, that heart chakra, it, it, it's not really activated in the same way when you're thinking about the future or thinking about the past. It's like connecting the heart chakra into a phone charger equivalent is the present moment. The present moment is the charger to really activate that heart chakra and allow it to work for you. When your heart chakra is working for you, you uh, have a certain faith and trust um, in what you feel which is invaluable, which also takes me to the peacock that I also saw in your, in your meditation. There was a peacock on the kind of the window of this spaceship, which is a king of cups energy, which is about balanced emotions. And beaver is also a similar kind of king of cups energy as well. Balanced emotions where you can draw from that pool right? And treat whatever comes from that emotional pool or emotional center with just as much consideration as you would what what information comes to your intellectual headspace, right? Okay, you are not ready for this. Look at this. <laughs> you got the 10 of pentacles. So you, we now have three pentacle cards here for y'all. <laughs> Amazing. So this is really interesting. I'm really drawn to the hands here. What did I just say? Many hands make for a lighter load. I'm telling you, Ten of Pentacles also is happy home, family, ancestry, lineage, being set up for the long term. So this is fascinating here, right? These trees have roots, right? Amazing. So also with this, with the Ten of Pentacles, we we're talking about, you know, accepting the help that's available to you or being more aware. You know, I'm hearing like the root system right? These roots go deep and you can't always see them, but the, the more that you can't see them, you know, the deeper they go, right? You know, I was taking a walk um, in the woods recently and there was this tree that was on its side and all the roots were exposed. I feel like there's something in that for you, the image of a tree with its roots exposed. You know, this also is um, sort of tying up to the autumnal equinox reading that I did over on Instagram, which is very much about that hard, honest self-reflection that can, you know, lead to big changes in your internal world that in turn leads to big changes in your external world or reality, right? Because when we change from within, our outer reality changes as a result. There's something in that for you. How are you thinking about things? Is, is, is there room I just want to ask that. Is there room? How much room do you have? It just feels like there are some adjustments that uh, want to be made. And it feels very much like it's in relationship to your work ethic or the work that you do. Or are you going about aspects of your life or experience like it's a job when you don't need to? Question mark. Ooh, dreamer of swords. Okay. 
So here we go. I will hide this from you. So what's really interesting with this, first of all, the Dreamer of Swords equates to the Knight of Swords in the Tarot. Um, but this is really interesting. Or no, the Page of Swords. Page of Swords in the Tarot. So it's really interesting about this is that you see this like beautiful goddess water woman holding this trident. The trident is very king of cups as well, right? With those balanced emotions. See how she's standing on land over water? And we're talking about king of cups, head and heart. The beaver is both a water and a land energy in one. Yes, it's wrapped here as water, but technically it's both. Really, really interesting, right? And we have another tree reoccurring here. It's kind of mirroring these trees, right? Your roots. Expose the roots. More trees here as well with the beaver. Exposing your roots and gleaning helpful information by doing so with this page of swords. Because this can be, you know, <laughs> having a realization that can be very life altering in a really great way. But this is also the editor. This is my editor key, right? Which is like, oh, let me edit this. Let me make a change to this. It's like getting editor's notes on something you've written, right? So it's interesting that the editor is coming in here for you guys and we're looking at kind of this, you know, pentacle work long term, uh, what you do now paying off in the long term, the choices that you make right now. Let's make some edits to optimize performance <laughs> is what this feels like, interestingly enough. Yeah, it's pretty nice. But I also feel with this page of swords here that there's going to be communication coming in to and for you yes within yourself for sure but also i feel like from others either in your network or your you know the family system that it's like offers of help or offers of even time or someone to bounce ideas off of or or talk to or whatever that is that that is very enlightening and helpful for you because there feels like there's this um certain emperor energy that i'm tapping into now that let's talk briefly about the shadow side of the emperor okay because the shadow side of the emperor is that they feel like if you want something done right you must do it yourself or like i have to carry all this load by myself it's kind of like frodo and the ring now wanting to let sam hold on to it i mean it was a little different but <laughs> it's kind of that feeling like this burden is mine alone please don't be frodo there is a sam around you that is there to help you carry that ring or help you talk to or help feed you, you know, Lammas bread. Okay, there, there's a Sam in some form around you um, that is there to help you and, and kind of lighten the load a bit. I'm hearing really <laughs> realize that and let them in because it's going to make a big difference in what you are capable of during this time. Okay. Are you serious for sure right now? I cannot and I, I, okay, I don't even know where to start with this. Ten of Wands, this is about the maximum load that you can possibly carry on your own. We're literally talking about this, right? Uh, this cross imagery, let's just talk about this briefly. So, hmm. remember when I said that the Emperor Shadow Energy is feeling like you have to do everything yourself? And that this imagery, without getting too into the particulars of every aspect of this energy, I'm going to, you know, just keep it relevant to this, is there's a certain aspect, a shadow side of the emperor, which can turn into martyrdom, right? But it's not needed. It's absolutely unnecessary, right? It's like there's all these people in the background going, hey, I'm here to help. Hey, you can come to me. Hey, you can ask for help. Hey, like there's this opportunity, whatever it is. But you're you're looking down at like, oh, my God, like this load is completely mine. It feels like you are way you are feeling very weighed down with a certain a level of responsibility or to do list or, or something within, maybe it's an unbalanced dynamic in some sort of relationship, whatever that is, where you really feel like you're carrying a heavier load than you actually need to. And the key is teamwork, asking for help, and then also allowing yourself to be a bit more um, free from some of these responsibilities that, that feel like busy work or extra. There's responsibilities, but then there's, you know, adding stuff onto the pyre that, that, I just don't need to be there. And it's, again, calling that page of swords is that editing system to help alert you as to what those are. It also feels like there's a lot of signs and symbols coming through for you. I'm hearing like books in particular. 
Um, there's like this idea of like a library angel where, you know, if someone's recommending a book to you more than once, if you're, if you, you know, are recommended a book and then you, you hear about it and then you see it and then it like shows up on your, you know, recommended list in your email, it feels like there are some very helpful books coming through for you, but also just help in general. But if you are not willing, if you're attached to that heavy load because it's what you're familiar with. It's not going to do a whole lot of good. So just think about that. Are you attached in any way? How are you served by the load that you're carrying? Ask yourself that. Really think about it. Also, this guy standing on this log, like in the middle of this water, back to the beaver energy here, right? There is this really strong energy of the work that you do or the work that you are going towards. It's very important. It's very important. It could even be an aspect of you carrying the load in some literal way, whether it's physical work or carrying the load for other people if your work involves helping others or being of service in some way. But it really feels important. You're being asked to edit the systems or edit or, or like swab the decks right now because it feels like there's just, it's like this is keeping you from your maximum potential. The amount that's on your plate or the way in which you're going about doing what you do you are caring more than you need to. There is help all around you and you're being asked to just allow yourself to receive that help because it's going to in turn um, help you, not just help yourself, but others as well, right? With that emperor energy. All right, 10 of pentacles. I'm hearing slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. When you're on vacation, you, you're able to move a bit more slowly. I do. Oh my God, you are not ready. You are not ready. You're not ready, but I'm coming to you anyway. Four of Swords. This is the slowdown key. <laughs> Talking about this here with the Ten of Pentacles. Are you serious? This is that it's time to take a rest. Interesting. Now, I, I, I feel like for you guys, it's, it's not as much of a time to take, maybe for some of y'all. But I feel like less about a physical rest. It could be with this Ten of Wands. Because when you take on a lot in general, you can, your body definitely can feel it, right? If you're stressed or have a lot of tension or not enough sleep, your, your body definitely responds. But, you know, the swords are of the mind, right? So this is about allowing yourself to exist outside of your normal stimuli, the quiet the, the slow time, even being outside, right? Being outside of a lot of, you know, whether that's internal noise or external noise or both. Allowing your mind to be at rest by accepting the help that is available to you so that you have the time, energy, resources, and clarity to build your own personal, with the emperor, empire or best life, however you want to look at it, right? There's help available to you. You're doing a lot more than than is than you need to, right? Accepting help is is not weakness, right? You don't have to worry about that. It, accepting help that's offered to you is is accepting the fact that that you're a human being and that and that again, many hands make for a lighter load. Are you even red D? Let's talk about this ten of cups that just came up for you. So let's talk about this. Remember how we were talking this again, you have the 10 of pentacles and the 10 of cups. There's definitely a lot of love here. There's no denying that you have the, the, the two keys that are about happy home and family. One of them is financially stable and setting these children up for the long term. And the other one is just like, I am so happy in this moment that nothing else matters or exists. I am so obsessed with this for you. So the 10 of cups also to, well, first of all, also the wizard of Oz, the rainbow. Remember that and we have this, hello. Um, this with the page of swords, with this editing system and this messages and communication, you know, I do feel like for a group of you guys, because you did get the 10 of cups here with the babies playing and the, you know, the couple here that for some of you guys, the help is at home. It's within your family unit. It's within those that you really love. It's when those that are really, you know, are there to that you can trust and that are there to help you come hell or high water like it's it's your true people around you that that are within your unit or your pod or your group or your chosen family even right that are really there to support and back you up i do feel like they're going to be either reaching out to you or you're going to be you know inspired or compelled to reach out for to them and just say hey i <laughs> i i could use some help here 
right? Because there is this aspect of you have your eye on the certain prize of what you want. And I feel like for you guys, it does have to do with long-term, you know, um, career, not job, long-term career success or long-term family goals. But it really feels like you, you are starting to see as you remove some of this stuff, very clearly what your life could be at its maximum potential. And you're being asked through an editing system to clear the way for that, right? Because there are some adjustments that want to be made. And I do feel like it's editing things out, <laughs> right? That's going to allow for this to manifest in really beautiful timing, right? I'm really drawn to the three children here because you also have the three of pentacles. Three feels like a very pertinent number for you guys, okay, for this month. Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. Oh, 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 you are so not ready. And on the bottom is the sun. Hello and goodbye. You are not ready. <laughs> so the Ten of Wands with the Six of Swords, this is my favorite swords key. Okay. So uh, I love that this is coming up too, because like you guys being, you know, air signs, you're ruled by the sword suit. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love that you got this. So six of swords is exactly what we're talking about. Six of swords is moving on from troubled times into calmer waters. This is moving on. This is laying down your load, taking what can fit in this little rowboat and going on your merry way. This is a complete lack of mental tension. This is like this. I'm going to give you a little sound effect for what the Six of Swords is for me. Okay. It's <sighs> that deep exhale. Okay. Can we talk about waiting to exhale? It feels a bit like waiting to exhale. Cue Whitney Houston. Um... <laughs> Anyone is obsessed with that movie as I have been for my whole life. And th th that's what this is. It's it's that complete exhalation and, and feeling like all is as it should be. I'm on my highest and best path. You are carrying more than you need to. Mental relief is on the other side of laying down some of this load. You cannot, nor should you, do it all on your own. Okay? This is... This is, this is really nice, Gemini. It feels really, really, really good. I also feel like with these dragonflies on the side of this boat, that's an ace of swords energy. Big clarity, big insights. Do not be afraid to edit and make some changes or even open up conversations about what those changes or edits could be, right? With others. Yeah, where did you learn or where did you pick up that, that, you know, that the load that you're carrying needs to all be on you or that it's the best way? I'm hearing more is more, but I feel like that's um, not really true. But for some reason, that's, that's the vibe. It's like more is more. I'm hearing no, actually less is more for you. <laughs> Interestingly enough. Oh, 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 the web weaver. I'm so here for this synchronicity were we not talking about that synchronicity divine intelligence cause and effect four for the four of swords here i'm just gonna read that again for the seats in the back synchronicity divine intelligence cause and effect with another tree here i also want to point out that she definitely looks a bit like galadriel and this is like that bright star in a bottle that she gives to frodo um where is your sam okay your sam is somewhere this is really beautiful because i'm also getting with this with this galadriel like help help is always you know available to those who ask for it isn't there something in lord of the rings about that there's something about that and i'm really here for it so the web weaver you know webs spider webs resemble or represent for me about giving and taking an equal measure it's also about oh those webs we weave they're, they're very beautiful webs it's only a spider can weave a web like they do right which is interesting equating to this um we're lining up with this three of pentacles and this eight of pentacles energy i feel like the work that you are here to do is important it's unique and special to you it's you're going to do it in a way that is not only going to serve yourself and others, but that in a way that no one else can do it. This is not like a line worker thing that I'm picking up on. No shade to line workers. They can do things to the best, you know, line worker ability as well. But this feels like something that's going to have 
long lasting effects, far reaching effects is going to influence your family unit or your personal circle and, you know, those in the future as well. Whether that extends out from a single point and helps, you know, those you know, and then to know them and, you know, all of that. Or it's like your actual generational family, right? You are really being asked to just kind of allow yourself uh, allow yourself to be helped, reach out for help or accept help as it's offered, use your words, balance those emotions, allow yourself to, to receive of the given moment that you're in, because that is where the gold is. It just is. But this feels, I mean, this is beautiful. Synchronicity, that's how you know that what you're doing is working in a way. It's there to guide and help you. But synchronicity, you only can really truly occur when you're in the present moment to notice it right? And you get those things. What were we talking about? The books. You, you see, you, you're recommended a book, then you hear about it, then you, then it's recommended in your email list. And that's synchronicity. And then we have it right here. These synchronicities are here and available to and for you, but you will miss them if you are thinking about the future or thinking about the past. Let's, let's even that out with some present moment vacation energy and see what comes of it. Yeah. This is really nice, Gemini. It really, really is. It's it's like a beautiful mind map here. It's your beautiful mind. And I really like it for you. Very good. Also, one last note. Six of Swords is also about transitioning, moving from one place to another, possibly over a body of water. But this is really making a big move. The Ten of Wands is also my card for moving locations or making a major life change. You are headed into a brand new chapter. You're being asked to edit out some stuff from the old one so that there's room and that's a that's you know um able to come about in an expeditious and highly functional and you know streamlined way i'm hearing okay streamlined success yes dolly i love this okay all right Jim, <laughs> i wish you a very happy october is it anyone else's favorite month like it is mine um a most blessed Samhain or Halloween um and just do me a big favor if you will would you holler at me in the comments and let me know what y'all doing this is my second reading back for my hiatus I've missed you guys I would very much like to hear from you in the comments how is this landing what do you think what do you think about the Frodo and Sam dynamic <laughs> whatever you want to holler at me about I love reading through your comments it's it's absolute best part of what I do um and with that being said just thank you guys thank you guys so 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 much for being here and most of all and as always thank you for being you and be well until next time